Hello and welcome! My name is Luigi from Bluestacks and today I'll talk about Star Trek Fleet Command. If you are a fan of this series and you want to start your adventure in this large universe filled with danger, well in that case pay closer attention, because I'm about to present some tips and tricks that will help you start Star Trek Fleet Command with the right foot. So without any further ado, let's jump right in! The first big thing you should do is to join an alliance. The sooner, the better. Alliance members can help each other to reduce research and building construction times, allowing you to increase your combat power much faster. You also have access to a special store where you can buy Ultra Recruit tokens that you can use to summon epic officers. They'll be the same tokens that are sold for real money, by the way. And finally, if an alliance member purchases a chest, all members can benefit from it. So it's a good idea to join right now. Not to mention, the alliance feature will soon receive an update called Armadas, which will bring large-scale PvP matches between guilds. Star Trek Fleet Command has three factions, Romulans, Federation and Klingon. After discovering these factions, you can upgrade your reputation by performing a series of tasks. High reputation levels prevent the Romulan and Klingon ships from attacking you automatically. Besides that, you can get free faction loot boxes. So the higher the reputation, the higher quality the loot will be. So if your goal is to bring peace to the whole galaxy and get some goodies along the way, simply increase your reputation with all factions. You can open a chest for free every 10 minutes, 4 hours and 24 hours respectively. And all of this can be accessed through the gift menu. They're great because you can always get a resource or an upgrade component free of charge. You can also get various buffs that will reduce the time to make research and construction. So don't forget to get your free gifts whenever they are available. If you can't get enough resources to keep upgrading your base by the base building, remember you can use a different method, and that will be mining. The asteroids you see on the system map are not just cosmetic, it contains a variety of resources that can be mined, so keep that in mind when your resources are low or you need a specific resource. When you start a game, you are placed around a random planet with other players, so you cannot choose where you start the game. However, if you want to move your base to a different location, you can do so. And there might be many of those reasons. If there are not too many resources around your planet, or your base is attacked too much, it will be better to move to a new location. To do this, first find a different planet and click on it. Each planet has 16 station slots, and as long as there is an empty slot, you can relocate around the planet. Note that you must use a relocation token every time you do this, but luckily you can use the first one for free. With the tips I presented, I'm sure your adventure will be a lot much easier. But if you think I forget to mention anything important or you have some other device, make sure to share with us in the comment section below. But anyway, that's it for now, thank you very much for watching, see you next time, or should I say, live long and prosper!